Welcome back to Summer Racing Quick Flicks. Today we're going to open up a whole series on how to select the right headers for your application. Today we're going to get into the different types of headers that are available out there for, for most vehicle applications and, and help you determine which style is right for, for your specific vehicle. Uh, what you'll notice is if you go to our website or if you call in, you're going to get a lot of questions on what type of header you want. And the options are going to be typically long tube or a shorty type header. But you may also come to find they're going to list maybe fender wall headers, um, as well as uh, mid-length headers, street rod headers, zoomies, um, truck pool headers, whatever they may be. And each one of these headers are going to have a specific characteristic that's associated with them um, that's going to make them perform differently from one another as well as fit differently from the next. Most popular are the full length headers. Full length headers in most situations are going to give you the best bang for the buck when it comes to actual all out performance. And this is due to their flow characteristics and, and how they move the air out of the engine. The long tube design. You're going to have these long individualized runners they are going to come into a common collector. The further we can extend this in most cases is going to lead to better exhaust velocity and better scavenging once it gets to the collector. And this leads us back to our X-Pipe video that we talked about um, probably a month back or so as far as what ex exhaust scavenging is, which is the pulses in the exhaust literally increasing the flow out of the exhaust by drawing air out of the tube next to it. Whereas in comparison, a shorty header is going to go ahead and bring everything together in a collector at a much early at a much earlier point meaning that that exhaust scavenging effect will go ahead and not be as drastic as it would be with the full length headers as a result each one is going to perform a little, little differently from one another as far as the long tube header typically will go ahead and give you more mid-range and top end power where, where in comparison the shorty header is probably going to make more low end torque because of the fact that it's going to give a little more back pressure and perform a little more closely to a, st a stock exhaust manifold the only two version headers we're going to focus on today are the long tubes and shorties. And I know I mentioned there were fender well headers as well as street rod headers and zoomies and stuff like that. And a lot of those are, are really application specific to some race vehicles and things of that nature. So we're really not going to focus on those too much today. Uh, what we are going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about the difference between a full length header and a shorty header and which is right for you. Uh, we come to find a lot of customers have questions on which version they should go with on their vehicle because they don't really understand um, what they're going to gain from each and, and which is going to go ahead and create the most fitment issues as, as, as far as their vehicle goes. For the most part, most people think about this when they think about a header and that is a, a, this full length design. A uh, full length header for the most part, we'll go ahead and give you the most benefits when it comes to a true performance application, but there are some, there are some downfalls in installing this type of header on your vehicle. The main thing is fitment. Uh, it's going to be a lot more complex to fit on your vehicle. It's going to require probably the movement and adjustment of a lot of vehicle accessories, as well as the fact that if you look at this header, you know, you would think to yourself that it would go in the vehicle from, from the edge compartment down, when in reality, these are actually designed to be installed from the underneath of the vehicle and you have to have the vehicle at a minimum, in most applications, uh, right around 36 inches or, or higher off the ground to even get the proper angle to get them up in there properly. The other issue with a long tube header is, is it's going to create ground currents issues on your vehicle if you have a vehicle that's been lowered. Uh, you really want to consider this because if you have a, a lowered vehicle and you, you see a lot of rough road conditions in your area, uh, experience a lot of speed bumps, things like that, you can end up taking and beating up the collector on the bottom here and creating a lot of issues for yourself. And what happens a lot of times is you end up beating up the collector and that ends up in turn and damaging the flange area up top where it mounts to the, uh, to the cylinder head and, and creates all kinds of leaks and whatnot. Whereas in comparison, you can go with a shorty type header, which is not going to give you the same performance benefits as a full length header uh, does but it's going to go into the vehicle a lot easier as far as the fitment goes. It's not going to require any of those same changes we talked about with the full length header. It's not going to have the, the same ground clearance issues that are associated with a full length header. Um, and for the most part, shorty headers, if designed specific to that vehicle, will bolt up to your existing exhaust system without any problems and not require a custom exhaust system like your full length header would. The downfall to a shorty header, 
uh, is the fact that you're not going to get the maximum performance out of it because it doesn't scavenge as well and it doesn't move air as well as a full-length header does. Keep an eye out for part two of this video where we're going to discuss header primary tube diameters. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. For more quick flicks, visit the Summit Racing YouTube channel. Visit Summit Racing online at www.summitracing.com. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com backslash summit racing. Or like Summit Racing on Facebook at facebook.com backslash summit racing equipment.